Hey everyone, it's Damon with Living in the OC here with Mom. Say hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. We're uh, coming to you with another update. I think we're on about our fifth one now. Right. So we're just trying to keep everyone posted with what's going on. We'll have to go inside. We've been laying out the tiles, the fireplace. It's, a, it's not a match like a wallpaper pattern would be. So we're trying to make it look like it works. So we're putting that on the floor. We're putting tiles on the floor for the bathroom. We decided we want tiles to be vertical or horizontal. Do we want them staggered in the subway? So there are a lot of little decisions to make. How wide do you want the grout to be? So come on inside. We'll turn the camera around and we'll show you also that they did the ceiling. I did something here that I, I like to try to do. It's another one of those little hints or little secrets. When you put up beautiful crown molding on the ceiling, if the ceiling is white and the crown is white, it blends in. So I take whatever my lightest of the three colors, this one happens to be called reflection, and I do 10% of that into the paint for the ceiling, and it gives it just a hint of color so that your crown molding stands out, but it doesn't make it so dark that the ceiling looks like it's coming down on you. There's your tidbit. Right. So when we go inside, it's a little bit loud. There are fans running right All now. All kinds of stuff happening. Lots of paints drying, so yes. uh, the audio may be a little out of whack with the fans, but we'll do our best. Okay, these are our porcelain tiles that are going on the fireplace. If you swing that around, Damon, right behind over. Yeah, they've seen the fireplace. Are going to across Looks a lot, a lot different with the mirror and everything stripped off of there. Right. So we've just been putting these on the floor. They're not meant to match perfectly with a pattern. So here's what I do: is I lay them out so that you have suggestions that this matches. You have a vein here that continues on. You have one here. You want to have one here that joins this. And one of these tiles, this bottom one here, so this is going to be the top, and it's going to come down to the bottom here. Uh -huh. And what we did was we arranged it so that this blank area has a blank spot. And this one I'm not worried about because we have to cut the center of this one out to go where the firebox is. Okay. So I think everything will kind of make sense. It's got a beautiful flow to it. I love the look of it. Yes. Yes. These are all porcelain tiles. It's going to look so uh, modern yes. once we get it up on, on the wall. It's going to look really, really nice. Right. Now, you walk over here a little bit, don't trip on the tile, where the light comes in a little bit here. Okay. Let's see if we can get it to match the tile. Okay. Yeah, I think it's going to match. Yeah, 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 it's how you can tell the difference between that tiny shade of dove gray and the white. That's what we want so that when we pull off all this, the crown molding is worth the time and effort and money to put it in. You can really see it. So when you get back though. Yeah, the crown's going to look really nice. Are they pretty much done putting the crown in? They're done. Yeah. But now if you come back over here, David, and just shoot the ceiling for a minute. It really I don't have to worry about the mirror anymore. I was always getting in the reflection how nice. But you can see the ceiling is not too dark. Right. Don't make the mistake of going more than 10% of the your lightest of your three colors to put in as a little suggestion of the color of the walls because you don't want to take away from your wall colors either. I was thinking the walls would all be painted by now, but everything takes longer than you think it's going to. Always. So they have now today also done all the concrete in the showers. So oh, we're great. also laying out the pattern in the bedroom. Do we want to take a look at that? Yeah. Keep yeah. rolling? Okay. All right. So we've got to watch our step as we're coming through here. A lot, a lot going on. So here we are. Look at the difference here. I don't know if um, we've got a, our worker in here is doing the cement, but yeah, you now can see. Now putting all the cement so that it's a yeah. smooth surface, and then tomorrow is the fun part where all the tiles start to go up. 
Yep. So I'm very excited about that on top of this list. You want to go check out the master? Yes. Now, if you come in here, I don't know how Abel will be to see the differences here, but there, if you come on this side, these tiles are rectangles. You can do them so that they're straight up and down and there's an across line where the seam is. That's more modern and contemporary. This is called subway style. If we took them and put a tile halfway, it takes more cuts, it's a little more time consuming. That's traditional. This house is going to be more contemporary. So I'm going to do it this way that is modern. Let me show you the other piece that we figured out this a little moment ago. The tile here. We are cutting in half and it goes horizontally. So that's why I did not want to do the same thing. I did not want it to go, we're cutting it in half so that it's a six inch wide pattern around the shower. I didn't want everything to just be horizontal. So it'll be much more effective if we do these on the vertical, then you have a lot more drama going the other direction with these going on the horizontal. Okay. So that's another little tidbit uh -huh. tip. Okay. okay. We want to show the other shower? Sure. Or? It's also, well, you go ahead and walk in there. We're going to also put back in the He's already done tomorrow. the cement and stuff in here, I think, right? I'm not sure. But I think yeah, so. it looks like it. He's cemented everything here, so it's ready for our tile tomorrow, which is really exciting. Beautiful. Look at that. Done nice, the right way. Done nice with lighting for us to be able to see. Done with cement and wire mesh. Come and see, uh, take one little picture in here of the wire mesh. This is what you put in the shower. Don't use hardy backer because if it, the grout fails and the water gets through, then you have your heart, the, the wallboard gets mushy. So you just got a text on your phone as you're recording from Louise Chan saying your order is ready. Is that your kitchen bank app? Oh, it is. We've been on the way home. Let's go take a look. Wow. How Yay. cool is that going to be? All right. Be? We'll go film that. That's going to be kind okay. of cool. All right. Yep. Thanks. So that's it for now. And uh, stay tuned. I am starting a video because I've been filming our whole project here and I'm going to turn it. Damon is here and I'm going to film you for a minute too. Okay. Oh. This is, well, I'm, st I'm still, I'm rolling. Oh, nice. I'm doing yeah. this the wrong way. So I'm going to do it like this. <laughs> oh, you're doing selfie with? <laughs> Hello. Hey. This is Luis. He's my wonderful friend and upholster. This is, uh, the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen. I'm gonna stop this and turn it yeah, around. You Look at this. This is going to be built into the dining room. The Every time I move, the doorbell rings. It's okay. just gorgeous. And I'm hoping that maybe on Monday or Tuesday of next week, all the flooring will be down at the condo. We've got some of the accent pillows. It turned out to be so beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh. Yeah, it's yes. incredible. And here's one of the little... Those are the pillows going with it? Yes. Yeah. And here's one of the secrets of this is that you can see how here it extends a little bit over the bottom because when you're sitting down, you have to have a little bit of a space for your legs to sit back so that it's not straight down. So you build the cushion on the top with an overhang. It has a three inch foam cushion because you don't want to sit down for any length of time and feel the board that's underneath it. So I'm and the color scheme is perfect. I mean, I'm thrilled. The, the grays and the neutrals Could not be more thrilled. Gorgeous. Thank you, Luis. Hi, everybody. This is Cynthia with Living in the OC. We're back down in Laguna Woods, and there's a tremendous amount of stuff going on right now. Uh, they're doing the fireplace and the floors are going in showers are going in so it's exciting i'm going to turn this around so you guys can see what's happening okay <laughs> here we are we're starting to put the fireplace pieces in it's starting to be beautiful we've got two more pieces to go so that's great and 
If you look at the floor, look how pretty the floor is, just starting to go in. We're putting a pad underneath to make it a little more cushioned and soundproof. So this is the beginning of when all the pretty stuff starts. Okay, everybody, we're back down for some Friday afternoon fun. I know mom already ran some videos earlier. A lot going on today. And uh, one of our fun little issues coming up now that we're finding is with the microwave. If we look under here, check this wiring out. It's illegal, basically. Yeah, that's not good. You can't do that. It won't pass inspection. So we're just pulling out all the old appliances. And uh, yeah, I get some noise here. That's all good. So appliances, they're coming in on Monday. We got to get everything set up and ready for delivery on Monday. Okay, what? yeah, so go ahead, Mom. But yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get super excited with the progress. One of the interesting, well, you can, now we have a toilet in the bedroom. Oh, that's, I mean, you know, it's always, toilet's been on well, the it's, patio. It's, it's, it's fun to go in the middle of the room sometimes, right. you know? Yeah. When you gotta go, you gotta go. So we get that over here. Our, our prayer is that nobody actually uses that. Yeah, right, they better not, <laughs> oh, emergency. But here's the, here's the newest thing that's happened is that the old vanity has been removed. It was all rotted and molded. The new vanity went in today. And we have. Jose did an amazing job yeah. with the vanity. Yeah. It's He's already got the plumbing hooked up too down below. Gold faucets, gold fixtures. And this that's going to be gold our backsplash. This is the accent wall that'll come around to here. Go around the wall. Sorry, this I just had to zoom in for a minute. Sure. Um, and I think the interesting thing about this is that the old vanity came all the way out to here. So you were actually standing in the hallway. And one of the most important things I always say is, I don't care how beautiful it is, if it doesn't function, right. you miss the whole thing. Yeah. So this now allows you to step into this space. You're, somebody can walk up and down the hallway here, be getting dressed, slide So we closets. actually gained a lot of, of we space We gained there. about yeah. maybe 30 inches here. Excellent. And so this now is going to be with the gold faucets and everything. I think it's going to be beautiful. And then the other thing that's started today, I hope, I don't know if you can turn on more light or if you need it. Nah, we'll be able to see, but the, man, the progress coming here now in the uh, you're shower in the shadow is just of the fan. light, maybe step in uh, a little more. Well, uh, you're yeah. I'm in the way. Yeah, okay. Let's jump shift. So we can see the, the work that's coming in now here. Look at all of this. All the spacers, there's the alcove and everything has been done correctly, where it's now concreted, everything is solid, no water can get behind one of those plastic insert things that were, were wrecked the walls before, and we don't use hardy backer. And here's the, the piece that'll come in here. Maybe I can step in here, if I can get away from the light and not block it, but here's where we're gonna get the gold accents going here. Has That's a little kind of bit, sweet. little bit of gray. Yeah. And that's going to come around the mm -hmm, walls here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's really coming along. Also to tie in the gold. Love it's it. It's being edged in gold to match this. Yep. Got so it. it's a little bit at a time. We're going to go shoot the living room. I'm hoping that the last couple pieces have gone up because that is just spectacular. All right. So we'll, we'll roll in the other room. Okay, so big progress with the flooring too. Right, big progress here. It's all looking really beautiful. Once again, I did this so that it's not brown, not gray, somewhere in between with a light neutral. So no matter what color furniture you want to put in here, no matter who moves in, their furniture will fit. Yeah. So that's why I picked that particular color. We also have a problem now in that the back shower, we ran out of the wall tiles and we can't, there aren't any in California. So we have to wait until next week on um, somewhere between Tuesday and Four Friday. and five days to get here. Yes. So it's so, probably the end of the week. You know, that's where it comes back to bite you because you don't want to over purchase. It's all expensive. Right. But then if you don't have enough, and you, I always buy 10% more than I think I need. A little and overage. still yeah. didn't work yeah so yeah we're gonna have to try very very hard now to get that all finished next week that looks 
Beautiful. You must be very proud of yourself. Oh, well, heck yeah. It looks amazing. Look how nice. What a great job. It really does look terrific. All right. So I'm incredibly excited about this. Now we don't even have to worry about the mirror hanging over the fireplace anymore. But look at this. It's really fabulous. And one of the workers, because they're really only one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Yeah. We played with them. We put them on the floor because I wanted it to look, have some sense of the pattern joining. Yeah. And it takes a lot of patience and moving these. And each of these weighs so much I can't lift them. So bless his heart. I think it turned out to be. Oh just yeah, beautiful. I mean the, the flow of it is perfect. If you look at the veins on there, it's, it's yeah. I think this is this is gorgeous. Perfectly matched. Yeah. yeah. So I'm very happy with it. We are going to go and buy the grout now. We picked yeah. the grout color. We're going to use sort of a, this color. And I'm going to now, this is how things unfold. I'm now going to repaint. I need to do anyway, the hearth. I'm going to paint it this light gray yeah. background color so that this doesn't, I mean, it's all dirty and doesn't look okay anyway. And we'll repaint the interior of the fireplace and make it all a fireproof black. That'll look good. Yeah. Very, 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 very exciting. And like I said earlier, now I don't have to worry about that mirror. That mirror was annoying when we were trying to film. Look how and beautiful and modern that is. I'm going to go and grab the wallpaper too because Oh, you want to you want to put I'm it up see there? See how the wallpaper looks. All right, we'll stop I, rolling for a minute. I don't I don't have enough money in the budget to build in floating shelves yeah. on either side, and I don't want to do a bookcase, which no. is too traditional. Yeah. Right. So I decided to use some linen sort of wallpaper instead. So let me go grab it real fast. Okay, we'll stop take rolling. A, take a peek. All right, so it's going to be a little bit hard to see with the right light. Right now, the light's just about gone. I wanted to just wallpaper that's going to go up on either side of the fireplace. It has a beautiful metallic sheen. Look how beautiful it is next yeah, to the floor. That's almost better with that lighting right there. Yeah, pretty with that's the floor. That's going to look amazing next to the fireplace. Going to hold it up for a minute. Yep. Yeah. You know, we could, uh, no, the lights cover, so that doesn't help. Yeah, can, can you turn on can you turn on the flash? No. I'm in the not, light. Not while you're doing it. It's fine. Okay, yeah, you can Yeah, look at that. This is I picked this because it has linen. It has a little hint of the black in it, which is our accent color. See the little hint of the black yeah. here? This is what you do is you, you just kind of keep repeating that little bit. Mm -hmm. And this I picked because of this color to go on this wall. I think it's going to be beautiful. It looks a little brown from here with the light, but it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's uh, It's a gray brown, like the floors are. Yeah. Wow. You're yeah. just going to do it on that wall, right? This wall and the, on the other and side. And on the other side, yeah. That's in this room. That makes this the accent wall. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Good? Yep. All right. Well, everybody, I came down this morning to deliver some more tiles because I'm going to take one picture in the bathroom. The uh, beautiful tile work is going up in there, too. And this is the flooring that's going down, making good progress. We have to get through here into the kitchen today because Monday the appliances are being installed. So everything is rolling along. Well, I came back to check on the progress today and here we are with all the living room done. And uh, I think it looks beautiful. None of the, it actually looks terrific and the walls aren't even painted yet. And if I turn here, it goes into the kitchen. So we're just beginning to get the look to come together. I'm gonna to walk into the other room and show you the beautiful backsplash, the master now. So here is that wonderful backsplash with the gold and the new vanity it's going to have gold fixtures, gold handles, and I think it turned out beautifully. They didn't finish this other corner, but uh, let me see if I can zoom it out. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. It's exotic and expensive, but it's, I don't think it's over overdone, which is nice. 
And they also have finished, let me come around here. We're still in the midst of lots of chaos, but they did finish doing that beautiful, beautiful insert for the shower here. Isn't that spectacular? You buy this as four pieces where the uh, pattern is actually matched and they make a beautiful, beautiful inset. We haven't this here again. This what isn't finished is the seat isn't finished and the floor isn't finished. So little baby steps ahead, but everything that's coming in now is really beautiful. Hi everybody, this is uh, Cynthia Robbins with Living in the OC, still working down here in Laguna Woods. We have lots of amazing things going on, but again, we have a new problem. There's always something. The, uh, the garage door, which we had fixed, is now not working <laughs> again, apparently. And I'm gonna show you in here, I'm gonna flip the camera around. We have another electrical problem. We put in new units in the master bathroom and the new units don't seem to have the power to them. So who knew? Let me show you that. Here we go with another test and another problem with the electrical. It's amazing that now I understand why some of these things blew out and didn't work. They weren't being wired correctly originally. So here's our problem and we'll figure it out. It's just going to take another MacGyvering to try to trace all this. Here are all the floors in the living room and the fireplace finished. They turned out to be really, really pretty. And they're now finished here. And you can see how pretty the backsplash is gonna be in the kitchen. Well, there it is. There's the first of the brand new appliances to go in. Black is our accent. So I think it's gonna be really beautiful with the silver. And here is the new patio tiling that's going down. And I think when I, I just put a piece of the living room and dining room tile down so you can see how beautiful it goes together. Well, now the uh, new range and oven top are here and the dishwasher has been installed. I'm having them uh, tested out now. Backsplash is going in. We're leaving the protective covering on because the painting and the flooring isn't finished. And there is, there's the new refrigerator installed. Let's see if I can, nope, let me do that. Nothing like brand new, wonderful appliances. And uh, they're also now putting in all of the, this is the freezer side. And one thing that I think is really important is that they're able to get water and ice here without opening up the freezer all the time. So that's wonderful. And over here outside, we're getting lots more of the new tiling going down. Let me peek it around the corner here if I can. There we go. This is going to be the slate look that's outside the living room, which joins this floor. And we're going to go back now and take a look and see how the, they're finishing up the master. Here's the last picture for today. This tile in the master is painstakingly coming around the corner here to finish off that wall. Slow but sure, starting to look beautiful. All right, so we're rolling. Here we are. We've made a tremendous amount of progress. We're going to show you around uh, the condo here in a minute. But I've got some very, very special guests with Hi, us today. I'm Jamie. This yeah, is and Debbie. And this is very scary, screamy this face ghost, Halloween. His name is he's Ghostface. Uh, there you go. Oh, he, he likes to go by Ghostface. And can you turn the light on? He, can, he probably can turn the light on, yeah. Let's he's see. Really oh, my. Oh, so, yeah, look at those eyeballs. Look at those eyes, yeah. Well, he's been scaring people since yesterday when we found the mask. Right. So I'm Cynthia with Living in the OC. Here we are back down in Laguna Woods. We just yeah. wanted to be able to get you caught up. And I'm very happy and lucky that I have my two grandchildren with me this week. So they're going to be a part of all the excitement that's going on here. We've been talking about it. So they finally got to come down and see it. Right? So mommy is on vacation in Mexico. Yes. 
and so the kids are with us all week long and they get to be with us on our fun projects and so it's been great having them here right so, so it's, it's fun having, uh, having the kids here with us well let's turn around let's show them the first thing that we have that's new here turn around Ben. So the this, first thing, all right, let me just try to adjust, yeah. This is what we were telling you about, we showed you on one of the other uh, videos, yeah. is the banquette. Yeah. And it just got installed today, fits perfectly. And the reason that we're putting in a banquette is, remember I said that when you sit down here, and even if you have a glass table, you still have lots of open space so it doesn't close the room in. So we wanted lots of seating without closing the space. I think it's incredible. Our upholsterer Luis just helps. He just does the in, most. Right? And here is the backs. Remember, I said you need to get your feet back a little bit. If your feet are having to be bumped out, it's not as comfortable. That's why we built it like this. So it, it fits in here beautifully. It, we don't have the painting. Out, it turned out better than I, I envisioned it, Mom. And it looks just Isn't fantastic. it gorgeous? Well, wait till we get the color on the walls, which is painters coming in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and swing around and take a look yeah, at the so kitchen. Yeah, so the next thing that's super exciting is all of our progress here in the kitchen, and I can't wait for Peter to see this update. Yes. Let's give a and shout here. out to our partner, Peter, with Partner Driven in Atlanta. He's been uh, so patient and very generous and understanding with all of our setbacks. We actually even have a couple more that I haven't told you about, Peter, but uh, yeah. I'll, I'll text you. So, so first of all, yeah. we have uh, new appliances. Yes. So brand new fridge, which looks fantastic. Yeah, thumbs up, right, Dan? <laughs> Then we have a um, brand new microwave. That was an issue in itself, just trying to get the electrical working okay. It, was, it wasn't wired properly uh, with the old unit. And I think that we showed you guys on the last, the last clip, um, the issues we were having there. Uh, not sure what's going on with the stove. Maybe they're just adjusting something with the stove, a brand new stove. And um, take a look at the backsplash. I think the backsplash turned out really, really perfectly. They, we went with that herringbone backsplash yeah, yeah. and I love the way it turned out. And then last, last week, Jose uh, pulled out that bottom strip. I think we had footage of that as well yes. to give us that extra clearance with that backsplash. And wow, did that turn out perfectly. Yep. We, we, eventually would, we're gonna do the sink there too, right? We're, well, we have new in. faucets and things. Yeah, oh, yes, new faucets things. going in there. All right, Jose wants us to shoot this new vanity. We have to yeah. make okay, some adjustments. So keep rolling. Keep rolling, come on All right, here. it's okay then, we're rolling, no big deal. We're real, real casual with this. And ghost face is scaring people like crazy, so. Yeah. Well, here's the new, let daddy come in so yeah, he can shoot gotta this. Yeah, daddy's got to come around. Okay. We finally got the fan and found the vent and got that all squared away. We got heat, okay. venting, and light. We have to put a different light bulb on this. I am blown away by the shower. And the shower, I picked this. This is the new vanity. Oh, here's just the new going vanity. in. Just went and wow. Jose wants to get busy here. We're going to put a backsplash here, and we have a black fixture and black knobs. But look at how pretty um, this it, color is with the it, it, veins it in there. It matches it perfectly. Yeah. yeah, looks great. Looks great. Unbelievably cool. Let me just step in here for a second, okay. Mom. And then come and look and so back. you guys have seen the old footage of the of the the. Uh, Chronicles we had with the shower. I mean, look at the way this thing has turned out now. I mean, unbelievable. Even, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Even with the, uh, the new, wow, even the new bench, look at that. So the new bench turned out perfectly. Look at that. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna keep rolling. Real fast. Okay, we're rolling still. He's just started to grout. Finally got a grout that matches the gold. 
So it's all slopped on to there be right able to now. see this finally in person, wow. Yep. So now the mirrors and the medicine cabinet and the faucets and all so the fixtures. So they just have to put the they, grout in? It's just, and he needs to get back in here and wipe it off before it dries. We had a hard time matching the gold. Right. Okay. That's gonna just look so clean. Uh -huh. By the time it's done. Taking, it taking that off. Sure. Love it. Okay. Uh, anything in the bathroom to film with? Uh, well, just good. that we finally closed up the big monster hole in the ceiling. You did close it? Yes. Let me see if I can even turn this on. It's okay. So that there was that gaping hole that was there before. It looks like they've patched that up. Yes. So that the fan's going to be able to go in This there. whole ceiling was all punched out. And this is all new. That's the new setup. With the heat, the light, and the fan. So and those are was, all installed. I know that electrical, yes, honey. Was a nightmare. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, ghost face is still in our shot. I love ghost face. But, but um, here goes all that beautiful. So the, the, the new outside patio deck is being put in as we speak. And it went from a very tired, broken, cracked concrete to this wonderful new slate. And it matches the flooring here beautifully. I'm not going to go disturb them right now, but once it's yeah. done, we'll, we'll go outside and get a better shot. He's going to put a piece down right now. Yeah, and I'm not, not going to get them on film. So. Fits together. We'll, we'll film outside when it's done. Okay, everyone. It's Damon and Cynthia with Living in the OC. We are concluding our fifth update now. Yes. yes. Which is pretty it's fantastic. getting exciting because we're actually moving forward. So be sure and tune in next week so that you can see the kind of work that we can do for you too. Um, this is uh, signing off from... Oh no, let's Demi, Demi, what you, you, wanna say, say, you wanna say signing off, Demi? You do it, you do it. Signing off, stay tuned. Stay tuned, that's right. For every week we're bringing you new episodes. So How about our monster? Do you wanna say bye-bye? Is Ghostface talking or not? Hey, light him up, right? Turn light on the lights. Light him up, light him up. See. You can do the lights, but there Ooh. you go. So at this point, guys, um, you know the routine. All of our information is down below in the description. Go ahead. My cell phone is there. Give us a call. Shoot us a text. Send us an email. Set up that Zoom call. That'll give you a half an hour of our time. We would love to be able to talk to you about whatever your whatever real estate your needs, needs or are. issues you may yes. have. We are here for you and we would love to talk to you. So this has been fun. It's been uh, kind of a pre-Halloween little addition here. <laughs> and Almost. I, I, Halloween love have, I love having the kids with me. Uh, they say sometimes it's not a good idea to put your kids in the phone, but they're too cute not to. That's right. So, uh, they steal the show. Uh, uh, they do steal the show. <laughs> But no, I love having the kids here, and I'm sorry I haven't put them in soon. Well, I actually had them in a couple of shorts. I think so. I did a couple of shorts yes, yes. that they were in. About so. like two and three. Yeah, yeah. But they've been in a couple of shorts with Daddy, but they haven't been yeah. on our on our video, on our long-form content. So you're now going to be exposed to about 101,000 people. So, <laughs> no, you know, no big deal, no pressure. She's too young to date. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> And she's not getting an iPhone for a while either. <laughs> you just blocked me, buddy. I can't see what I'm doing, but that's okay. There you go. All right, All right. guys. So anyway, see you next time. God bye. bless you guys. Happy. Stay tuned. Well, we're actually going to put right. out another um, video before Halloween, I think. But oh, anyway, yeah. You, yeah. as you can see, we're getting. And make it. sure it's Halloween themed. Oh well, we'll try. Well, we're going to have to get some. We can put a pumpkin on the camera. We're going to have to get some yeah. some more costume ideas and. <laughs> Like I told you, we were at Party City yesterday when we found our ghost, uh, what do you call him, ghost face? Ghost face. <laughs> scream. scream. Yeah, it's Scream. Oh. And Daddy saw a really cool mask from the Renfield movie where Nick Cage plays Dracula. Ooh. And it's really, really a cool mask, but they wanted almost $100 for it. So I said, I don't want it that badly. No, no, that's too anyway. much. Uh, anyway, we're just having fun and wanted to keep you guys posted. God bless you guys. And uh, stay tuned for our next episode, which will be coming out next week. Next week, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're getting so far here, Mom, that there isn't a lot left. Not to too show, many more weeks is, that we want to have it all come together. Yeah, just totally exciting how much progress we're making now. So it's also really comfy here. It's, it's comfy, comfy and comfy. You like it? There you go. There you go. And you could be if 
mommy was in the kitchen cooking, you could be sitting here and working on can. your homework and that kind of, well, I'm just saying it for whoever lives mm -hmm. here, it's going to be very nice. Well, I was telling, I was telling the kids on the way down that we're not 55 plus yet. So. Well, that's right. So you, you can't, can't live here, here yet. <laughs> so anyway. You can. I could. I certainly Grandma could. Yes. could. I could. I could. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you guys for all your support. Stay tuned. We really appreciate the, the viewership. So uh, we will talk soon. God bless. Thank you. Bye.